Hi, Harmony Recognition is glad to see you again. Once again, the choice between the so many interesting topics that deserves to be shown was difficult. So look at what we have finally selected for land, naval and air sectors. The new Caesar artillery system introduced into the Danish army is a 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer based on an 8x8 truck chassis produced by the French company Nexter. The video footage you are watching shows the manufacturer's version, not the Danish one for which no images are available yet. In May 2017, Nexter Systems signed a contract with Denmark for the purchase of 15 such truck-mounted artillery systems. In November 2019, the Danish army announced it would acquire four additional Caesars. These Danish Caesars are based on an 8x8 modified Tatra T815 chassis. It was unveiled by Nexter during the DSCI 2015 Defence Exhibition in London. This version uses a new automatic loading system and benefits from an increased payload for ammunition and charges, which is to say 30 rounds. The main armament of the Caesar 8x8 consists of a 155mm gun similar to the one mounted on the Caesar 6x6. The maximum rate of fire is 6 rounds per minute and the maximum range is 40 or 55 km depending on the type of charge used. Israeli company Plazan has delivered to an undisclosed customer a batch of Sankat 4x4 protected vehicles configured as spare 120mm self-propelled mortar carriers. With Sankat spear 120mm mortar carrier, Plazan has designed a new light and mobile artillery system that can be used by airborne troops or quick reaction forces. The spare is a fully autonomous 120mm mortar system with soft recoil that can be easily integrated into light wheeled tactical vehicles. The mortar is a derivative of the Cardom battle proven mortar system of which more than 1000 units are already extensively used by the US Army, NATO, Israeli Defense Forces and others. The spare is equipped with computerized aiming and navigation devices, enabling the mortar to be operated autonomously and aimed without the need of external reference points. Spare can be easily integrated in a variety of C4I or battle management systems. It can be operated by a team of two or three men and can be ready to fire in less than 60 seconds. The president of SSB, the Turkish Defense Industry, Ismail Demir recently stated that the engine problem faced by the Altai indigenous main battle tank is closing a solution still under negotiations. The work to be done with a foreign country regarding Altai's engine has reached a very good point, Mr. Demir said. An agreement has been signed. The work required will follow a certain process, but it is possible to say that we have a C plan for the engine, a C after the B. Of course, our ultimate goal for this tank engine is to make a national engine. As you know, the studies are going on. The engines are slowly coming out in various power ratings, Mr. Demi added. So the work on the tank engine is progressing. After the power pack is completed and the production line qualification is completed, the T0 phase will start. And then we will start the 18-month period, Mr. Demi concluded. The sea trials for the Suffren, the first French Barracuda-class nuclear attack submarine, are going on with the first helicopter hoist training. They will enable the French Defence Procurement Agency, the DGA, and the French Navy to test the performances of the submarine at sea before her delivery later this year. A total of six Barracuda-class vessels will be added to the French Navy's fleet by 2030. Led by the French Defence Procurement Agency, the DGA, these sea trials, which will last about three months, will confirm the robustness and efficiency of the submarine before its delivery to the French Navy this year. In accordance with the commitments of the military programming law 2019-2025, the six Barracuda-class submarines are all ordered. The first four will be delivered by 2025, with the Suffren, the Duguay Trouin, Tourville, De Grasse, Ruby and Casabianca, currently at different stages of construction, will allow the gradual withdrawal of the first generation of nuclear attack submarines. Last week, 
Ne vi recognition editorial team made a technical review that drew your major attention. This review concerned the new Chinese Navy Type 55 stealth guided missile destroyer Nanchang. The Nanchang, the first ship of this class, was commissioned on 12 January 2020. It was officially unveiled to the public during the multinational naval parade celebrating the Chinese Navy's 70th founding anniversary on 23rd of April 2019. The ship is designed to perform long-range air defense, anti-surface warfare, anti-air warfare, anti-submarine warfare, electronic warfare, land and maritime strike, escort, long-range patrol and surveillance missions. According to naval military sources, the Type 55 can carry more weapons and equipment than any other Chinese Navy destroyer. The future Type 55 variants will carry China's futuristic electromagnetic rail gun, a weapon able to shoot hypersonic projectiles at Mach 7. It could be also upgraded to be used as an anti-ballistic missile platform according to Chinese military sources. The US Navy, with the support from Northrop Grumman, started the flight testing of the MQ-8C Fire Scout unmanned aerial systems equipped with the Leonardo ANZBY-8 radar. The MQ-8C Fire Scout is an unmanned helicopter developed by Northrop Grumman for use by US Navy. The ANZBY-8 radar significantly increases the Fire Scout's detection and tracking of targets. The ability to simultaneously employ multiple modes support US Navy intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance requirements. Operating out of Webster Outflying Field, the MQ-8C's first flight with a radar occurred on 27th of February. Testing began with several weeks of ground tests prior to the first flight and continues to progress as the Navy and Northrop Grumman consider mission expansion opportunities for the platform. Leonardo announced that the Italian Ministry of Defense Certification Authority has issued the initial certification for Leonardo's new M345 training aircraft. The new aircraft is designed to meet basic and advanced training needs. It will complement the M346s used for the advanced phase of pilot training. In the framework of the International Flight Training School project, it will support the reinforcement and internationalization of the training offer launched by Leonardo in partnership with the Italian Air Force. The M345 benefits from the experience and technology already developed for the M346, including the live virtual constructive capability. This allows the integration of the in-flight aircraft with simulated friend or foe elements showing the future pilot to be exposed to the complexity of every possible operational scenario. The first two V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft bound for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force units arrived in Japan aboard the MV Green Ridge, a transport ship chartered by the US Navy Military Command and was unloaded at the US Marine Air Force Station of Iwakuni. As a reminder, the V-22 Osprey is a multi-role combat aircraft utilizing tilt rotor technology to combine the vertical performance of a helicopter with the speed and range of a fixed-wing aircraft. With its rotors in vertical position, it can take off, land and hoover like a helicopter. Once airborne, it can convert to a turboprop airplane capable of high speed and high altitude flight. Japan ordered the first five Ospreys for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force in July 2015. According to TASS press agency, the Russian Air Forces have recently tested a new hypersonic air launch missile created for a modified version of the Tupolev Tu-22M3M bomber aircraft. The work on the new missile began several years ago. Its test should be completed simultaneously with the work on the upgraded Tu-22M3M bomber. The characteristics of the new missile haven't been revealed, but it has been clarified that this missile does not belong to the line of X-32 missiles. The source of stars only said that it is a completely different missile. Well, keep in mind that Defense Web TV has more than 1,400 videos on its YouTube channel. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell here and there to be informed of the latest defense and security news.